similar. We have finally finished the whole film. We've done everything that needs to be done and now she is going to edit. Hello. Yes, we finally finished the film. I am so happy. Oh my God, honestly. Um, on um, the 15th of August, you can all see it on her channel. I'm tired of people asking me, when does the film come out? It says on the trailer, that's the whole point of a trailer. <laughs> Watch the trailer and read carefully at the end and you will probably find out that you actually have a brain. Insert the trailer here now so you can watch it or link to it. Oh, Hello. Oh. This is actually a very good angle, is it not? It is, but you've got people walking behind us. I've got my drink. Guess where we are, people? I think you can tell by the little signs on the toilets. McDonald's. Well, so I can just see like a toilet door right there. Have you noticed my chips? They're so attractive, isn't they? Well, I think they're fries. So, Megan. Hello. What do you think about the film? Like, all done and that. And just say, it's what's it been like? I'm really, that is done, but at the same time, I'm so high up. Hi. Yeah, um, I'm sad that it's over because I had so much fun recording it, like with like Clark and Daisy and all the scenes that we've done. Mm. Just like the banter we've had, like the musical, Daisy flipping her hair so dramatically, her smiling and looking at the camera. Oh my god. I think the interview is coming up and the bloopers are going to be so good, especially the film. The film already, guys, as I've edited it, thank you. Yeah, as I've edited it guys, the film is, wait how long it is, don't forget the first film was 11 minutes long. Mm -hmm. Guess how long Killing Her Kindly is? 20 minutes. A little bit more. 24? Yeah. Oh, And because it's not totally complete yet, because some footage has been added, because like scenes have to be edited separately before being added onto the rest of the scale, it's uh, it could still become a bit like two minutes longer. So but I'm shouting out to, to one person who said the film has to be between 20 to 30 minutes long. You've got your answer now. I'm not going to mention their name. Oh, sorry, you have your answer now. It's going to be within an average about 26 minutes at least. It's going to be a long, short film. And fear my chip. Not chip from Beauty and the Beast, this chip. Oh, I love chip. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see me do a trick? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm older. <laughs> I've got a question for you, Caitlin. What gave you the idea to make this film in the first place, or these well, films? I mean, I'm digesting potato. It's a potato. <laughs> right, well, basically, guys, I decided to do this film Hi. because, um, well, long story but basically the first film Killing Her Softly was actually an A-level project that I handed in for the sake of my grades because it was something we had to do we had to pick a topic and my topic was domestic violence uh, which is something that's very close to my heart because my mum went through it so that's why and also I think it's quite a good thing to focus on because everything everything that everyone else was doing was like drugs teen stuff all the typical stuff and I just done domestic violence which was good so I edited that as my coursework project and then I thought why not let's stick it on YouTube and now it's got 1,900 views the first film I don't know if you've seen the views damn it was actually 900 views and now it's sharp to 1,900 I'm just like whoa so because it got such good attention I've now made the sequel which is Killing Her Kindly and do you have any idea what the third one's going to be called? I actually have no idea guys because it's got to be Killing Her Something like, killing her dead. Killing her dead. Killing her finally. <laughs> yes, please. Finally murdering her. Mm -hmm. And trying to work out how it's going to go. And like, because I want the viewers to be shocked, I kind of want to kill someone off that you wouldn't think would be killed off. Don't kill off me. No, not you. You'll, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll probably, be, you'll probably be the one that does kill her. Well, I've had enough of you. Fuck off. Do you see how better Megan is than me? At holding the camera and sort of. I usually have a shaky hand, so you know. Well, my leg is bouncing right You're now. You're probably framing to get the whole scene. Oh, I just literally held it. Ignore the recycling bin. <laughs> oh god. If anyone wants my signature, <laughs> tap. We're all sponsored, by the way. I actually, I sponsor myself, but unpaid.
This is what you guys put her through. Honestly. Do you know how stressful you've made me guys? Like, honestly. I just dropped my phone. Hey, hold on a sec. Watch this film to donate money for a new phone for Megan because I think she probably broke it. I hope you get a new one for my 18th. What phone you getting? I don't know. It might maybe a 5C. This is a 4, which is rubbish. Um, the 5S is better. You should get the 5S. Keep you prepared for some more video for Megan because Megan's going to do some video in. Um, I think Megan, you said you wanted to do an interview on me, on the director. Yeah. That's if you want to. Because there's no interview with me. And I do keep getting private messages saying, oh, we kind of want to see what the director's got to say. Because they want to know about the film and its secrets and that. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do after cinema. <laughs> Please subscribe if you love me. Please. And if you love me, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Don't hold it back anymore. Bye. <laughs> at the cinema right now with the director. Guess what we're seeing, guys? Guess what we're seeing? Comment down what you think we're seeing, and we'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Dunkirk. Who got it right? Did any of you get it right? Oh, oh, oh no, you did. You didn't. How could you get it wrong? This is the reality of your director. We have lives, you know. Hey, not just figures on the screen, we're real people. We need to drink from I McDonald's. Think, I think the last time everyone saw me and Megan together on a vlog was probably Raven's Bomb video. Oh yeah, when I was panicking. <laughs> I feel so bad as well. And then it was only until I got home, as I suspected, and my mum said, well, you probably was actually better off getting trained, and then you pick up the board to I was like, oh. Oh. Bit late. I know that. Bit late. And I possess popcorn. I actually need to add someone's thing. I don't even know the person. She's a thief. <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm blind by the sun. Hello. Okay. Brilliant day. Sunny day and my eyes hurt. Okay, we are doing a interview, Megan. Okay. Yeah, so, Megan, what's it like being your character? I love my character, in all honesty. Like, I say this in every interview. She is the opposite of me. Like, really bitchy towards other characters. Like, Very even bitchy. even to Leah, like her best friend, she's bitchy towards her. And even our other friend, Daniel, and Ryan, well, who doesn't like Ryan? <laughs> Everyone. Everyone loves the Ryan character. My construction of Ryan was very, very well thought of. Leah was very difficult. <laughs> well, just think about Daisy. Well, no, because Daisy's character has a very big leap because she goes from a very nervous, scared girl to really, like, get the F off me. Get the fuck away from me! Yeah. You are fucking dumb. That, that leap between them two different people was very hard. Who's your favourite actor? Oh, that's not <laughs> fair. I don't... I don't know. Mm, hard. Can I say my two potential actors? Yeah. You and Clark. Yes. Potential. Yes. Potential right there. Sorry, Daisy. Sorry, Adnan. <laughs> um, what do you like about the editing? Like... Do you enjoy like putting like the different clips together or do you find it really complicated and confusing? It's, I think after years of practice it's very easy but it's also still stressful because like if something doesn't work out or something doesn't synchronise then it's hard. Mm. You have to try and piece things together and make it work which is alright but sometimes it's stressful because you're like got to get this done by this date and all this and that and it's got to be pitch perfect. I think the one obstacle I really struggle on sometimes with editing is the sound. Like if I film something and then I go back home and edit it and you can't catch what people say, it's really annoying. Mm. It's like, oh. Um, you've asked this to Daisy, now I'm going to ask this to you. Who do you think should be in the third film? Like who, extra people? Um, well, I think, um, what's his name in your drama class, Oliver Kate Bread? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's a very good actor and I think he'd be really good for the um, film. 
Oliver, if you're watching this, if you want to be part of the film, message me, message her. <laughs> if, if you want to be in it, I mean, it's up I, to I can you. see he's got potential and I think he'd bring a lot of uh, entertainment to the series. Do so you th think he'll be like a comedic character in it? or? Yeah, I feel like he'd be someone that Daisy meets in the third film and then she confides in him and they become best friends. and More than best friends? Maybe. He might. Well, if you're yeah, interested in that. that. Anyone else? Um, picking up a go actress, I don't know. Me. Oh, oh thanks. Well, anyone watching who's interested, give us a message. <laughs> give her a message. message me. Give me a message. Give any of us a message. Love me. If you're interested, I mean, why not? What's the character description for this female character? Um, very shy, very hidden away, has got a lot of secrets and knows a lot, but won't say it. Ooh. So, bit of a stalker, really. <laughs> Ooh, you want interested? <laughs> Just go around asking the basically heap, hey, you want to be part of the film? Come message us. Sign my contract. <laughs> I had to, I've given my soul away to her. Let's go to the movies. I really thought she was going to sing, Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. <laughs> Did yeah. they send me dollars when I asked for sons? You're the saddest bunch I ever met. Bet you can bet before we're through. <laughs> Mr. Ryle, oh, blood again. make a man out of you. What's going to be the basic storyline, do you reckon, for story three? Well, my basic storyline so far, minus all the other details that will come into it, obviously, the basic structure of it will be that Daisy, brackets Leah, her character, will find a new life after leaving Ryan and she will come across this lovely looking little chap and she'll fall deeply in love with him and then we'll have a love triangle when Clark Ryan finds her and he's like no you're mine and then she's like no I found a new lover so that's going to be the basic structure there's going to be a love triangle where she finally finds someone she's happy with and then she's still got Ryan on her case trying to win her back when he obviously can't win her back and then obviously it causes confrontation and someone will be killed off because of this confrontation so yeah, but we don't know who yet, and you won't know who until part three. Can I just say, Daniel, the character, if Adnan Lala is up for it, will um, have a big role in the third film, more involvement than he did in this film. So yeah, and then if you're watching this and you're interested, no! you got our numbers, but you got mine. I don't know if he has yours. He's got my face, but give me Adnan. Dead. <laughs> Dead. We'll fight them in the streets. Dead. We'll fight them in Sainsbury's. Dead. We'll fight them in other places. Dead. <laughs> we just watched the film and every time one of those eyes came up, she just said dead. What song's dead? <laughs> Boy, watch the film please. Watch the film coming out 15th of August for all of you who don't know and keep on bugging her about it. Stop bugging her about it, just please be patient. And you'll see, you'll see stuff that happens in the film. More in the trailer. 